championship fights. How is he coming along? You know, because he's still a young man, really. Yeah, he's still a baby. He's, he's a baby in terms of the division, and I think he's a baby in terms of experience. Still, you know, and uh, and every fight at this stage, uh, you've got to say, um, is a real learning curve. Um, even be, if, if if he's going to become the British cruiserweight champion, he's still going to be on the learning curve all the way through. I mean, 15, 16 fights. Um, you know, and having fought for two major British titles, I mean, that, that's a feat in itself, you know, and, uh, and just shows, never, um, never stopped at every weight, uh, and, and the way I'd like to think is that um, it's going to be very difficult for anyone to stop him at cruiserweight. And um, I understand, Mark, uh, that you're not the only one working with Mickey. He's got a, is it a, tr a conditioner? Yeah, what happened was when Mickey and myself first started <coughs> working together, Big breed, that, um, and, and I said to Mickey, you know, I really think he could do cruiserweight, and uh, and and uh, although he could he could box at every weight and he could compete at a good level, um, there'd be a difference winning something major. Whereas a cruiserweight, I always I always from day one believed that uh, he could win a, a major a major league title, and and then I think it was decided by Mickey and myself that we would slowly, very slowly, uh, bring the weight down instead of rushing it. And I think, you know, even yourself, you, when you did an article yourself in December of 06, um, it just shows how long we've taken our time in, in getting down to the weight. Now, all of a sudden, he's walking around on the weight and walking around fit as opposed to having to train and get the weight off to do the weight. He's, he's actually there now. It makes a big difference. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I think he's, he's, more suit, he's more suited to the definitely more suited to the weight. What's happened is we brought in uh, a guy called Ainsley, uh, who's uh, a nutritionist and works with the uh, the British polo team and um, does a fantastic job with them. He knows what he's talking about. He's based up at Bradfield College in Reading. The man is really hot on what on what he does. He's got Mickey's nutrition um, and nutritional needs right. He's got he's got them correct and he's, he's been working with him on specific types of training um, so that he can. He, you know, he, he can fight for three minutes of a round for every round. You've got Mark Hobson, in, uh, who's who's retired. You've got Macronelli, who's who's jumping straight back in at world level. Yeah. Um, you've got Fragamini. I don't know. He's fighting for the European or uh, is the European. I'll have to yeah. check that one. But where does Mickey fit now? What's he going for? Well, you know, I, I think let, let's go and win this title. Fragamini would be uh, ideal, but I've got to be honest, Fred, uh, Mickey was saying to me well over a year ago, um, now I'm doing cruiserweight, I think once everything's right, he said I'd love to fight Fragamini, just my style of fighter, so who knows, perhaps, um, perhaps we, can, uh, we can chase that, but um, you know, no disrespect to any of these other guys, you know, they've, they've earned their place in, in, in the league, um, but the one thing I've got to say is that, that once again, let's have a look at any of these guys and see if they've been challenging for the same sort of titles, or, or where, where, where were they uh, after the experience they gained as compared to Nicky? Well, a big thank you to everyone who's appeared in this comeback podcast. Terry Dunstan, Ian McNeely, Jonathan Thaxton, Osamano Akaba, Mark Rowe, and Kevin Taylor. The award winner himself. Congratulations, Kev. If, if you've enjoyed this podcast, please feel free to subscribe through BBN site or iTunes. Also, if you want to drop us a message, it'd be great to hear from you. Just use the audio comments. I've been Will Hale. It's been good to be back.